Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lena, and on today's video, watch me transform a high chest furniture piece into a work table or work bench. If you're interested in learning more, please stay tuned. With this high chest drawer piece that you see here, it came along with the two DIY upcycled nightstands that I made. I'll be sure to link that video. And this was one of the main pieces that came along with that set. And I'm excited to turn it into some sort of workbench for my woodworking and projects. I laid down the high chest onto its side and I moved all of the extra material off to the side here with the hardware. And at first, I really wanted to utilize the two long side pieces that the chest is laying on and on top here as a great work bench or work table surface. But the more I thought about it, I would end up not using all of these drawers here. And I don't know how to make that yet, so I don't want to just take apart all of this when it's already there to utilize for storage. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the nightstand DIY. So I'll be sure to link that and um, it has greater detail of what I'm going to show, do next with. And right now I'm working on what used to be the top portion of the high chest. I flipped it over and now I want to use the flat head as well as the hammer and an old scrap wood as an imp impact block to take apart these pieces that are attached to those surfaces. And if you look closely, it's detaching the nails that were in the wood. I want to work on cutting off this excess piece here because when I cut it, it wasn't flush to this surface area in which, and that's what I really want. So I did it over here already with the reciprocating saw or the hacksaw. At first I was trying the copying saw, but it was way too much work. So we'll just use this.
wow, I have a lot going on right now. But behind the scenes, I've been working hard with my measuring tools as well as the table saw and the miter saw here. And I am prepping my base for the wheels of my workshop bench or table. And thankfully I had some old wheels in Andy's workshop so I could use that and some scrap wood uh, 2x4 that was laying out which became really useful for this base and I'm extending it out here to make another surface area to hold my table saw and this part this surface will be used as that top and that's the top part of the high chest that we broke down earlier which is right over there and I cut it down to all of the measurements I needed so that took some time calculating and making sure I did everything right but I'll go ahead and do a time lapse of me putting it together and you'll have a better idea of what I'm trying to do. You can see down here I used the 2x4, some scrap pieces of wood here. Building this extension was hard for me just because I've never done it, but I'm thankful that everything is squaring up, leveling up, as well as the main surface up here, leveled right on the edge, but all good with me. It's okay for using scrap wood and janky wood, I think. And I'm not sure if you caught it in the last clip, but this extension tabletop here was not sitting correctly on this 2x4. And the reason why was because initially I drilled in this long piece of 2x4, which is the front base of the overall table, into the wrong part, which I started up, up here, which threw this wood piece off and this wood piece off. But then I fixed it. I took I took this out and just moved it down a little bit. And now it's sitting flush with the actual base of the dresser here. So that's good. And I'm not sure if you could tell, but I've been working hard behind the scenes, sanding everything down, getting ready for paint. And I'm excited to show you a paint design where you can see the blue tapes are. And I'm using this pale green paint here which I think will look super pretty. And also on the drawers, we're using these Besley clamps to hold down some pieces that I had to re-glue here on the bottom drawers. Before I get started on painting, I wanted to give you some budget-friendly painting tips. For instance, use these painting stir sticks multiple times. Let it dry out and then you could use it again to stir fresh new paint. Check out Facebook Market for free supplies. There's always people getting rid of old supplies like this paint bucket here. Use old plastic lids like this ramen instant bowl that I have here. Use the lids so that you could place your paintbrush after you've uh, dipped it in on here so it doesn't get anything else damaged. Use a flathead to pop off the lid of the paint can. Oh, also this paintbrush, I got it from Dirt Cheap. It says $2.99, but really it was like a dollar something. So check out Dirt Cheap. And I would suggest painting uh, samples of the color onto a similar piece of wood, like your overall project, to see how it turns out. I'm now finished with painting the work table and now I'm ready to apply the wheels to the bottom base. I made my marks according to what I want it to be and how far away from the edge that I want it. And I placed the wheel like so. I made my marks and the first thing I want to do is get my impact driver, put a drill bit on and this one is 5 16 which uh, will be almost the same size as my um, bolt. 
I like to apply pressure first and then get a good angle, make sure you're straight. to this wheel to show you how to put the nut and bolt on. I have my quick connect socket with the impact driver and I also have my 12 millimeter wrench. So I place the bolt into the hole here. And then the nut here goes onto the back. And then I'll take the wrench, hold the nut in the back, and then take the impact driver with the socket wrench on there and tighten it. Here is the before shot of the high chest drawer. All of the drawers I took out here. And then here's the inside. And here is the after everyone. My DIY upcycled work table or work bench whatever you want to call it made out of old furniture some scrap wood and material i had on hand you know i always got to throw a rug in my after clip <laughs> here's the extension table up close my areas where i messed up but it'll be okay let me show you all the back. I painted it gray and white. I think I will make some storage units or shelves back there. That will be for another DIY video. Down here you can see the bolts and the wheels. Now right here I do want to attach something along here to have more stability and sturdiness as well as making this a useful area to add more equipment and store things. Oh my gosh, I really love the color. I have no idea what it's called, but it's like a pastel soft green color. Let me open the drawers for you. Great storage for all of my tools and supplies. Let me show you how the table saw looks on this extension tabletop area. If I was working, I would set it like so. And I would work and this surface area would be good to hold my wood. And it's pretty flush, it's okay. And there you have it everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope that it inspired you to take something old and change it into something new. This furniture flick has been amazing for me just because I love the green color against the natural wood tones. And I'm going to be excited working out here just because this surface area is large enough to hold my wood pieces when I use the table saw here. I eventually want to make a storage unit here and remember to subscribe because I will have another video to show you how to make extra storage on that back side that I showed you earlier. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and enough, until next time, another DIY coming at you. Bye!